Hello, welcome back to the Snake Pit. Here we are once more with Valkyria Chronicles. I did a tiny bit of grinding off screen on the scenarios just to get some money and experience. Only a little bit. I will do more in future just to help us keep up. But I'm really glad that people have been enjoying. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. And let's continue. You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must uh, make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's uh, me. See daisy What? <sighs> hey, you can't... Ah, nice to meet you, too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the uh, hardest experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story. A good story. And you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good. I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews, thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please, he's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Ah, whatever, he'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. Oh, wow, well, okay. Chapter 4 Operation Cloudburst. Okay. Okay, uh, about personnel, weaponry, and glossary. These three tabs offer information on the game's cast, the arms they wield, and the things and places that form their world. Open the menu with the F button, then in the tab select the tab select menu select the resource you'd like to read. Their contents are automatically updated as you progress through the game's plot to check back on a periodic basis. Okay, uh, so there's that, no, there's not a new skirmish yet, so personnel, okay, so age 22, son of the late Empire War 1 hero General Belgen Gunther. Sarah. She's only sixteen. She's a uh, okay. leader of Squad One.
36, squad 7 Lancer. Shock Trooper, formerly a bartender and songstress. She still bears the nickname Rosie, given to her by the bar going regulars. Priest. Okay, so. Lots to go through. Okay. General Damon. Martha. Danny to the Gunther family like her mother before her. She helped raise Wilkin and Isara since birth, as well as five of her own children. Martha's baby. Drilling structure. Tamer. Kevin Abbott. Kobe. Age 65. <laughs> so this is just. Uh, So I'll just go through to um, unlock all of these, as in get their and then when they update individually, I'll look properly at them. through all the gun names and what they are. want to read it just feel free to pause it Squad 7's suppression of the enemy camp on the West Bank gave us the foothold we needed. Now we'll join the Army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloudburst to take back the bridge. Militia forces will take the point, crossing the bridge and attacking the Eastern Camp. Captain, crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the Army on this? The plan calls for the army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridgehead. 
Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? I know how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier too. But sometimes being a soldier means taking on tough missions, even dangerous ones. Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. Breaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... It's going to be tough. Captain Varat, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Observe it? I don't mind, but what are you... Welkin! Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the meeting. We're finished, it's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit? Yes, Captain. Welkin, I, I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's throats. What? Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. You want me to break it up? I, I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to just let them have it out. Let them have it out? You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. Butting heads over differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. Well, but... That may be, but I still... Look, you can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. Now get a move on, sir. Hey, I... Alicia? Sounds like he's got his hands full. It's all part of growing as a team. Ooh, okay, trouble brewing. You really have to ask, Lieutenant? It's either her or me, pal. Who let her in anyway? You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her! Her type's got a bad reputation and everybody knows it. No darksons allowed, you hear me? Oh yes, I've heard everything you have to say. But I'm still a human being, the same as you. Besides... No evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson Calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me? So what, you're calling me stupid Stop now? Stop it, that's enough! Okay, boss man. We won't fight alongside no Darkson. What about that, can't you understand? Another thing we ain't doing is taking orders from some hotshot Greenhorn. All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll have that bridge back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. Huh? Now if my plan fails, which I doubt, then I'll resign. And Squad 7 will be all yours, Largo. But if my plan works, you'll take my orders and like it. <laughs> Your funeral, boss man. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But... wait a sec. Welkin! Okay. High stakes. High stakes. Uh, some episodes listed in book mode are marked with an asterisk. These are sub-episodes, often telling a side story tangential to the main plot. It is not necessary to view them in order to advance the game. Okay. Well, I want to see it. Yes. Well, 
Logan? Hmm? What's up? What's up? You just made an insane promise, that's what's up. I'm sorry, Wilkes. I shouldn't have argued. This is all my fault. It's nobody's fault, Ace. It's a war. We're all on edge here. And this mission certainly isn't helping. It's little wonder the troops are upset. Yeah. That's why pulling this operation off is the perfect way to bring the squad together. That'd be great if it works. But how can you possibly hope to take back the bridge in just 48 hours? Well, that's the hard part. Aha! Huh? Aha what? I was hoping, but there they are. Isara, Alicia, think you can do me a favor? Sure, what is it? You follow me? But that's... Is that even possible? Well, Is, think you can make it by tomorrow? Yes, I'll get to work on it now. All right. I'll trust you on this. Thanks, Alicia. Well, let's get started. Okay, so we don't actually know what the plan is, just that it's something that's... Uh... So it seems pretty uh, risky or difficult, so... Let's hear this brilliant plan. And it's too late to back out, boss man. You got that? So let's hear it. We're going to strike the enemy encampment on the east bank. Whoa, hold it. You're asking us to die for you? One squad ain't breaching that bridgehead, buddy boy. That would be suicide. We're not taking on the bridgehead. We're taking on this, the river. We'll use the fog as cover as we cross the river, then launch a surprise attack. Oh, come on. Is this just some game to you, boyo? Swimming a couple of foot soldiers over there ain't gonna do much if we got no tanks. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Isara? I've fitted the Edelweiss with water-resistant measures to allow for submersion. It will only hold for a few minutes, but it should be enough to cross. Hold on just a sec. Ships come through here. It's gotta be too deep for a tank. We're covered. Look. See that over there? What's that? Grass? Missile reed. A tall aquatic plant found in the estuaries of some rivers. I noticed them when I came down to observe the river. This stretch runs shallow. Shallow enough for a tank to drive across. Trust me on this. First, the Edelweiss will cross over and clear out any Imperial patrols on the shore. Then Lieutenant Gunther will send up a flare, signaling the rest of us to follow by boat. Right. Now let's get started. I'll see you on the other side. Okay. So we're going to have a submersible tank. There's something. Yeah, I do. What is it? It's me. Swims just fine. Fall in, Sevens! Okay. 
Alright, so this is the actual mission, so we'll see how I s how much I suck on this. No, no one dies. Let me brief you on Operation Cloudburst. We'll be working with the Vassal Defense Battalion. The enemy is stationed around the east end of the bridge. You have a powerful pair of advantages going for you now. One, you're behind them. Two, they don't know you're there. Strike them hard and fast to make the best use of that edge. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's base camp located at the mouth of the bridge. It's possible the enemy will detect your approach as time goes by. Once they do, count on them calling for backup. Get to that camp fast if you want this to end pretty, Lieutenant. Many enemy tanks are stationed in the area, but some still have their engines shut down, meaning they won't attack you. Any inactive tank whose radiators aren't glowing, and whose cannons aren't in position, can be ignored completely. They've got tanks of extra ragnite fuel sitting around throughout the area. A gunshot should be able to detonate those and hopefully take out any nearby tanks or foot shoulders, foot soldiers with it. Ten turns pass or welcome dies. Okay. Right. Aunt Alicia. Kobe, Largo, we'll bring in Rosina, and we'll bring Catherine in. I'll bring Claudia in again, okay. Right. Let's see how we go. Operation Cloudburst is set to begin. I know you can all make this work. Take down the bridgehead as quickly as possible. Squad 7, move out. All right, that's everyone. Ready to move out, squad? You're crazy. You know that, right? Incoming message from squad one leader Faldio Lanzet on the west bank, sir. Enemy company in motion, presumed headed east across the bridge toward our position. A full company? That's bad news for us. We'll have to move fast. We're taking that camp before the cavalry rolls in. Listen closely. This information could save your life. Every unit possesses a set of innate abilities known as potentials, awakened in combat under special set conditions, such as remaining HP, terrain type, the current turn number, and other factors. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of CP, so let's have a look. So we've got to rush up here and take this. There's a tank there, camp here, and this here, so... I'm on! Okay, let's take Rosie. New target sighted! New target sighted! Here I come! Stopping me. Okay. I'm on. Rosie can move again. Go down. Just keep up this pace. Enemy sighted. New target sighted. She can sort of go behind this wall. Right. 
My turn, okay? Pull it together. Use the buildings for cover. Too much risk, I hit Rosie. Um. I'll make this look good. Please try to hurry, our time is limited. Just put her in this corner. Uh, okay, so there's a sniper up there. Please back up to me. how that goes. No! Oh damn. I didn't realise he could see her. Help me. Mistake for you, buddy, wasn't it? Okay, so they're gonna have a crap ton of uh, CP next round. Okay. I'm on. Medic. Just a little longer. Almost there. Work your magic, you hear me? Get 
got him. Yes, good shot, girl. I'm not done yet. Who are these guys? Okay. Been waiting here. So there's the tank there. Make use of the watchtowers. Been waiting here. Been waiting here. I just ain't feeling it here. CP for the next round. Okay, they're deciding not to move. Yeah, I don't want to retreat. But here, I'm going to bring back in Alicia for next turn. Been waiting here. Largo. Come do your thing. Man down. Everybody be careful. Spotted an enemy. Wait a bit longer and see how they move. Uh. I'll make this look good. I see an enemy. Try to take care of them quickly. I see an enemy! Enemy sighted! This one's sealed with a kiss. I can do this! Multiple enemy tanks sighted. Good girl. Yes! Good. Okay, we'll put her here. Entering combat! Take that trooper out. So I'm going with Catherine me. again. Good girl. I'm not done yet. Okay. Right, we'll leave it there. Come in, Alpha. 
Alpha Camp! Alpha Camp, respond! We heard gunshots! Report your status! Wilkes, I've intercepted an enemy transmission. There's nobody left at their camp to respond, now that we've cleared it out. Oh, this is bad. It's only a matter of time before they send in reinforcements now. This is Alpha Camp. A patrol unit had a misfire. Condition green. Relax. We're fine. Understood. Well, you guys keep the fires lit till it's time for our shift. Over and out. <sighs> Apologies for acting without permission, sir. That was amazing, Ys! Between the squad's fast action and that fast talking, we saved ourselves some heat. Minor damage sustained. Okay, so he's gonna go after the eye device, that's fine. Entering combat! Is there any way you can hide there? Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm on my way. Muscles? I've been working out. Okay, come on, girl. Ah! Yes. Just 
What do you get behind here? Uh, Let's do this thing. Here I come. I expect results from all of you. Sir, Gullion commandos have occupied Alpha Camp, sir! What? Alpha Camp reported their status green not minutes ago! Yes, but thinking back on it, I didn't recognize the voice on the line! Damn it! Feed me misinformation, huh? I want every last man we have out there! Bring me those Gullion heads! Right, so they're bringing in a crap ton of reinforcements. Got it. Okay. I'm on. Enemy sighted. Go there because the sandbag will take I it. I can do this! So we'll have another go there. Who are these guys? Uh, Alicia. My turn, okay? <laughs> Pull it together. Let's win this one, Rock. Okay? Nice work. We've occupied the enemy encampment at the bridge's end. Drawbridge control room secured, Welks. Excellent. 
Open it up, East. Let's see how their tanks like the river. Yes, sir. Ragnite turbines on. Stand by to raise drawbridge. Rank C. I'm happy with that. first before we do anything. Let's go to headquarters. Shock troopers, lancers, snipers. Hey! Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the lancers. Some more grinding off screen. To Come get back any time you're ready to sweat. Uh, let's see if there's anyone new in the command room. Hello, Welkin. Here to fine tune your squad. Oh, and there have been some new recruits. You should take a look at the master list. Okay. 
Wow, so... Just because he's like that. And, uh, we'll get Nadine in. Hello, sir. My name is Nadine. I'm sure I'll be coming to you for help. Come back anytime. Okay. Paying your respects? Sorry, I suppose that was a foolish question. Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. Oh. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. That and seeing this much death reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader, hmm. Very impressive for a young man. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. One wrong order from me and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Now, let's see. I'll teach you sniper support today. Use it to request backup from allied snipers to snipe a single enemy target. Well, what is your decision? I see. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Okay, so what's Castlefront Street? Hey, Lieutenant! Off duty today? Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall, written and published by yours truly. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? Sure, I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy-sweet propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this, out of sight from those government goons. I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah. Come by and have a read sometime. Again, if you want to read this, feel free to pause it. you're here I want to put a book out someday right to put the truth in the hands of the people but I'm just a radio news grunt you know I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket so I figured I'd ask you think you could find it in your wallet's heart to help a girl get started I'd make it worth your while 
You guys could feature in the book I write. I still haven't decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. See this fat stack of notes? I've got a ton of material already. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. Please. <laughs> Thanks a million. I plan on putting out new editions periodically, so drop by to check it out often. Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. Okay, so... Hey! Dropping by to read... Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Okay, so... So... Come back and see the writing on the wall. Okay, I'm guessing that's still got to be released, so... Okay. Hello, sorry about that. I actually had a crash that was not just a one-off thing. I had to look around to, to fix it, but it's fixed now. Um, I did everything the same as I did before. So all the upgrades are the same, apart from a slight difference to the A device. The guns have all been upgraded the same. And all the troops have been trained the same. Um, and I've gone through everything else, so nothing has actually been missed at all. So we'll just go through and have a check. So we've got Age of Gentleman. So that's the guy in the... Ica... Hermes... Okay... I don't know what that little blue thing is at the top, but I guess we'll see. Oh, okay. This is the report. Report. Alert embedded. Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression, good. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Oh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her, her hometown is Brule, same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> But if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. We'll just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right, the tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now that's strange. She looks darksome to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that. 
Could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troops somehow. Hm. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? Hm. Well then? The truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not. Oh, there's Sergeant Potter and Corporal Stark with him. Hey, guys, mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What, like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living, plus I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? Th there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Hey, Largo, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so... thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others? <laughs> I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair is all. Traumatic past experience with the darks and leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about them is all. You can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. <laughs> Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Chanteuse? They may be cranky, but they're characters. Boo! Oh, hello, Miss Ellet. How are you? A little freaked out now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. You were staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? I'd like to fly. Well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? You don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Welks is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. But he is a very kind person, and loyal. Anytime my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say... I respect him a great deal. Gotcha. Sounds like you lucked out in the sibling department then. Yes, very much so. 
That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? Hello, Miss Ellett. Hard at work again, I see. Didn't you already interview him before? Oh, Alicia, I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. Uh, you've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. I see, I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? What? I, I've never really thought about it. I don't know. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy-looking bug. I got distracted. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. No kidding. Now, Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the First European War? Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. What are you fighting for? I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darksons. That's learned behavior. Uh-huh. Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Huh. <laughs> you really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. But I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones, for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. Okay, so that was that uh, episode we bought at Castle Street. Uh, nope, that's wrong. Chapter select. Cloudburst, so we'll continue with these two. It appears that Lieutenant Gunther's plan worked. An impressive start, soldier. Thank you, Captain. The kid's crazy. Drove a damn tank right into the stinking river. Yeah, and I can't believe it worked. I'm still in shock. All right, you two. Now hold up your side of the bargain and you listen to Welkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The kid might got the chops to command. But that don't mean I gotta like any dark hairs. Hey, come on! It's okay, Alicia. I'm used to it by now. 
But I hope... I know the day will come when Darksons can join society as equals. Hey! Hope I'm not interrupting anything. It's me again, reporting for GBS. Lieutenant Gunther, that was quite an impressive result on your first mission. Yes, thanks to the squad's hard work, we managed to take back the Great Vassal Bridge. Any impressions on things to come now that you've gotten your first taste of victory? Impressions? Well, let's see. Bridges are important. They link the roads that bring people what they need. I'd like to become a sort of bridge, linking my crew together. I think that's my new goal. Okay. Sorry, this is about all I can do. But maybe, once everybody returns, they'll see a couple of lion's paws blooming, and it'll start to feel like home again. Hey, Alicia! We're heading out soon! Okay, I'll be right there! Well, flowers, do your stuff. Chapter 5 the Cloden Wildwood. Okay. So, new personnel. Welkin's got an update. She joined Galia's militia as a sniper, electing to remain in the military after the war's end. Her work ethic quickly saw her promoted. Okay. Alright. Uh, we'll go skirmishes. Vassal Riverside. Okay. Right, okay. Save it there. And that is where we shall leave it for today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.